Hello, this is Andrew. Today we're going to walk through the process of migrating a Unify video installation to a Prote Unify Protect installation on the UDM Pro. Uh, the UDM Pro has, it's one of the things that differentiates it from the UDM is that it can run the Protect application on it. It's my understanding that the Protect application actually runs as part of a, or inside of a Docker container. Not that that's terribly important, but it is kind of interesting. Um, you will need to have a hard drive in the UDM Pro, and you will need to have restarted the UDM Pro after installing the hard drive. Uh, we've already done that, so we're just going to go ahead and click Install. Uh, while we wait for that to finish up, just wanted to point out this article here. Uh, Ubiquity has a document on how to do this. Um, I will put a link in the description below. Um, the main thing to take away from this is this section here in the introduction, um, what will come through and won't, won't, what won't come through. Um, the big thing is that you won't get recordings, um, which is probably the main reason why you would want to do a backup and restore. Um, went back and forth on whether or not to go through this or not go through this, but some of these things, like the names and whatever, would be a little bit more difficult to set up, uh, reset up, than to just kind of try to go through this. So most of this should be pretty similar to a clean install, but that's uh, we're going to do the the um, restore. You need one thing from your Unify video server before turning it off, which is the configuration. Um, what you go to you find that by going to settings and then download configuration. And then once you have it, you need to have terminal access to the uh, system so that you can execute the command that turns it off. Um, I have a Linux. Uh, I use Ubuntu for my NVR, so I will be using this command. If you have it on a different system, you would use whatever command is applicable to your system. My putty window already open. But you, right, and so we now see that we've lost our connection to the NVR, and it, the command line comes back, so it's off. So hopefully by now, our Unify Protect is up. So the directions say to go to the IP address of your UDM controller on port 7443 using HTTPS, of course. Um, you will get a certificate error uh, because it's a self-signed certificate, but you can just ignore that. You will not be able to log in using your Ubiquity credentials. So you need to go instead to protect.ui.com. Here's where you would see your um, protect instance. So we're going to go ahead and launch. I have no cameras, which is to be expected, because what I want to do is import the file. So I would go into settings, backups, import backup file, find my backup and import it. Import failed. Of course it did. Of course it did. Our restore failed, which I guess to be honest I'm not entirely surprised that it did. So what that means is that we need to unmanage all of the cameras and get them to show up in the in the protect environment. So I'm going to grab the IP address of one of them. And generally, this stuff works best in Chrome. So we're going to run with it there. So in order to log into the camera, you will need to have the device password, which is you get from your Unify video installation. If you don't have it, you will have to hard reset the device manually. Let's hard reset it. Okay, the hard, it's hard reset. Password should be UBNT, UBNT. Okay, so now let's see if we can detect the thing. All right, so here we have our camera. We will add it. It is adopting. All right, so now it is online. We can see the live feed here. We can add a live view. 
Let's go for nine cameras next. Drop the camera. Save. We'll add the other ones later. There we go. So now this camera is my manage. This is the front door camera. Oh, how do we get to the name? Oh, right here. This is the front door. It's a dome. Uh, I don't like any of that stuff. I don't need the logo. That's fine. I don't think we want the status light. We don't need that. Apply changes. Recording. I want it to motion. Motion events. I like. Okay, one second. Let's say five seconds. And let's say ten seconds. Oh, that's different. In video, you could had a lot more flexibility there. Apply changes. Go ahead and add our motion zone, which in this case is the whole thing. Okay, so what we have to do for the other ones. Uh, looks like we have to effectively reset them all. All right, so that was the last of them. Should be able to go in here and find them all now, though they're not all coming through. But let's go ahead and act, add them in. Oh, it looks like they're coming in now. Okay, so my cameras are back online. I can go through the, and name them. This is the back drive. Don't like the status light. Light changes. Here we'll create a zone. Because I don't care about the neighbors. And that looks good. So then you just kind of go through here and rename all your stuff. Oh, and make sure that since all of my recording rules didn't take, I have to go through and do all those again. So that's the process. Unfortunately, backup, the restoring the backup did not work. So we had to go through and set everything up from scratch anyway, although not surprising given the way that uh, things have been going with the UDM Pro. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, just put them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Cheers.